everyone, this is Andrea from the Mount Pelier Public Library. Today I'm going to go through with you how you're able to place items on hold such as books and DVDs through our website that can be delivered to our library and you can pick up here. The first thing that you need to do when you're sitting at your PC is to open a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome today. And then you need to type in our website for our library. It's mountpelierpubliclibrary.oplin.org. Once you're on our website, this is what it will look like. And the first thing that you need to do in order to place an item on hold is to log into your account. The simplest way to do that is to click up here in the right hand corner on the My Account button. There is another way. You can go to our Library Catalog tab and it will automatically bring up the My Account button. Once you're on this screen, you're going to need to put in your barcode and PIN. If you don't know your PIN, you can call the library and let us know, and we will get that for you. It is usually the last four digits of your phone number. As you can see, I'm in our book discussion. Um, our book discussion library card. So once you're on this page, you can see several things. This is your personal information that gives your address, postal code, phone number. Um, if any of this is ever wrong, just call the library and we can update it for you here. It's gonna show the number of items you have checked out and the number of items you have on hold and the number of items that are ready for pickup. And you're gonna see this is our book discussion. So we have a lot of the same books on hold and ready for pickup. And then you can also see if you have any fines and how much they are if you did. Now let's get into searching. We're going to search for um, a book first. You can search by several things. You can search by title, author, subject, or if you know like the numbers on the back of the book that you used to buy it, that's what that is. But not a lot of people search by that. I'm just going to search by author and we're going to search for Karen Kingsbury. Once we click the search button, you're going to see that 305 results come up. This is results at all of the libraries that are in our consortium. We have over 200 libraries that we can ship books to and get books from. So you're going to see all of the books available to you. We're just going to choose one here and we're going to hit place hold. Once you hit place hold, this little pop up screen pops up and you're going to click place hold again. And then it's going to tell you that you had success. Or if something goes wrong, it'll give you another message as well. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now we have that item on hold. If we go back to our account and our holds, there's a lot on here. So it might be one that is not easy to find because I only ordered one. So all the way at the bottom. And here it is right here. You can see the, the book right here. So the other way that you can search for items, we're going to go back to the top of the screen. And let's say you just want to get an item from our library. We're going to type in our author again. And we only want to search for Mount Pelier Public Library. So we're going to click on this little tabby here that says Library Search. And we're going to go down to Mount Pillier Public. Mount Pillier Public Library, it's only going to search the books that we have available. So you're going to see all of, it's gone down to 112 results. It's a lot actually. And then you're going to see each book. One thing that you need to notice here is on the underneath where it says copies here, you're going to see one copy available at Mount Pelier Public Library. If the book is not on the shelf, it's going to say zero copies available at the Mount Pelier Public Library. So that's not one that you would be able to get right away. Let's say we want this book right here. We're going to hit place hold. And then we're going to hit place hold again and OK, just like before. 
Now, if you place a book on hold from our library, all you need to do is give us a call. Say, hey, I put some books on hold that should be on your shelf. Could you please pull them? We can pull them for you and have them ready for you to pick up. We're going to go back to our account now. Once we're on our account, we're going to go to our holds. And I don't really need either of these books because I've actually read them both. <laughs> So I'm going to go down and I'm going to delete them from my holds list. So I'm just going to give a check mark to each book. And then right down here in the bottom corner, you're going to see cancel holds. So you go ahead and cancel that hold. And it says OK to cancel selected holds. We're going to say yes. And our hold is now canceled. So now you know how to place holds here at the library. You can place holds of books that are actually here, DVDs that are actually here, and call and let us know that they're here and we can pull them for you. Or you can place holds for items that are at other libraries and they will be shipped to you. We will either call or email you and let you know when they get here. You can order everything from books to DVDs to CDs to cake pans to video games to puppets. To, there's all sorts of things that you can order. It, it's beyond your imagination, everything that you can get from the library. If you have any questions about this, please call the library and let us know. We'd be happy to help you and answer any questions that you have. Now we're going to go on to how to do this with your cell phone. Placing items on hold using your cell phone, the steps are pretty much the same, just the screens look a little different. We're going to go ahead and go in again and open our browser using Google Chrome and search for the library, which I've already searched for. You're just going to click on the website button. You're going to see at the top part of the screen where it says my account. That's the easiest way to get there. The other way to get there is to click on the three bars on the left hand side of the screen and then on my account. Once you're in there, you're going to go ahead and type your barcode number. and your PIN. When you get to the screen, you're going to see it looks a little bit different. Your personal information and everything has to be clicked on separately so that you can see what is in each screen. To search for items, you're just going to click on the left pointing arrow on the left hand corner of your screen and you'll come into the search menu. We're going to go ahead and search again for Karen Kingsbury. and you can see our results here. This is searching all libraries. If you wanted to search for just the Mount Pillar Public Library, you're gonna click on this little button that says search options right underneath the search bar, where it says library search, Mount Pillar Public. You're gonna hit search again, and it's gonna bring up items that are only in our library. We'll just go ahead and put this first one on hold. There is no place hold option here, so we're going to hit the three little dots on the right hand side of the item. You see it says place hold. You're going to click place hold again and then OK. And that item has successfully been put on hold. To check your account to see what you have on hold, you're going to scroll to the top of the screen, click on the three lines on the right hand side, then click on my account holds, library holds, and we're going to scroll down until we find our item. Here it is. Since I've already watched this movie, I'm going to go ahead and return or cancel this hold. So again, on the right hand side, you're going to hit the three little dots. We're going to click cancel hold. Yes. And your hold has been canceled. That's how you take care of putting holds and canceling holds on your cell phone. If you have any questions about either of these options, you can call the library and ask and we'll help you through it the best that we can. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.